All right, welcome back everyone. For this video, we're gonna be going over the Arsenal, our routine checkup. Now I wanted to save this for the Arsenal too, but it hasn't shipped yet, although they said they were gonna do it in June, but it's for forgivable reasons and we'll talk about it. So for this video, we're going full circle and I'm using my Sony a7R2 adapted. We have the Tamron 90mm f2.8 with the Sigma MC11 adapter, which if you watch my first Arsenal video, this kind of setup uh, left me out in the dark and I couldn't use it. But disclaimer, I did some test shots before I left and it's working. So we'll try to do some focus stacks and brackets because I think that's one area of photography the Arsenal should do pretty well in. So the Arsenal 2 was slotted to start shipping in June, but as you probably already know, we had an international crisis, a labor shortage, and now a supply shortage, and the Arsenal isn't immune to any of those things. So they've had to push back the release and shipping date to September. That's why I'm doing a video on the Arsenal 1 now. But it seems as though this is the end of the rope when it comes to this device because we haven't seen an actual update since the last video I did months ago. So right now we are running an exposure bracket with the Arsenal and I think it froze. It's been on exposure bracket two out of three for about three minutes now. So I guess we'll just try to restart it. Fun's over right before it started. The Arsenal just won't connect again, but it's too nice out here that I can't just leave the video now. I still want to get some shots, so I'm going to go ahead and do some focus stacks and brackets on my own, and then we'll just touch base on the arsenal when I get home and go over the pictures that I did get because it did work for a little bit. So if the arsenal worked on a consistent basis, I would think this would be a good choice for say real estate photographers who want HDR images but don't necessarily want to do all the post processing or want a JPEG at the ready but the Arsenal at least the Mark 1 here is just such a hit or miss when it comes to connectivity that I don't know if I trust it on a professional setting like that so the Arsenal stopped connecting that's why we're back but when it worked it did pretty well especially because I was using predominantly this 90 millimeter f2.8 macro third-party lens by Tamron with the Sigma adapter and a wireless connection on the Sony a7R2, which as you know, if you've watched one of my earlier Arsenal videos was problematic to say the least. That said, this just stopped connecting, but in the time it worked, it was fairly usable. It's a shame that we won't see a lot of the features that they promised on the Arsenal 1 because they'll likely just give more time of day to the Arsenal 2. But at the same end, a lot of cameras, not just modern ones, but flagships and more or less pro feature-esque DSLRs have a lot of the features the Arsenal can do in body as well. Like the 5D Mark III can already do uh, HDR modes. Same with the A7R 2 So to me, the Arsenal's enticing if you have a basic entry-level camera or an older body that can't do any of those things. Now, although the Arsenal 2 will have a Pro and a standard version, the Pro being the one with the weather sealing and an SD card slot five times faster, I'll probably end up going with the standard because I'll use this with entry-level cameras that aren't weather sealed. And I honestly don't trust the Arsenal enough to invest further into the system more than I already am. Now, I'm sure the Arsenal 2 will be a lot more polished than this one but I'm still gonna go with the standard as of right now. Let me know your thoughts, I'm changing my mind. Now, as for the release date of the Mark II, we can expect to see that in September per one of their blog posts, so fingers crossed. Now, with the Arsenal 2, I'll probably use it with a Canon SL2 or a T100, maybe a Nikon body I have, 
because the A7R2 is no longer going to be supported as of right now. I'm assuming because it's wireless and a lot of the cameras they're going to are either the new bodies or wired connections. So what are your thoughts both on the Arsenal 1 and the 2? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.